this book I'm really, really happy about. All right, if you didn't see part one of this video, I go through this whole coin collection that I'm actually buying a lot of awesome stuff in here. So definitely go check out that video and let's get into my personal collection, which this is all gonna be part of it because I'm buying all this stuff and I show you that in that video. Go check it out. All right, where do I even begin? <laughs> all right, so. First, uh, we have the Double Die Obverse, graded by PCGS at Immense State 66 Red. Uh, you know, I've showed this in a lot of videos. You can't see the doubling unless you put it underneath the microscope. Here, real quick, you want me to show it to you? I'll show it. All right, you see that doubling there on the lettering? The I and the N, 1995, look at the Liberty. Very noticeable doubling there. So look for that on all of your 1995s because you could have a double die outburst. All right, now we also have a gold coin that Brian Hooper sent me for when I hit 100,000 subscribers. Let's focus this bad boy. This thing is just amazing. Sorry about the glare. There we go. Check that out, guys. Mint State 70 Perfect Grade 2016 Eagle Gold $5 coin. Thing is absolutely amazing man and then i found this in a coin roll it is a penny 1982 lincoln penny that has been struck through a late stage die cap so pretty cool there um absolutely love this because i found it in a roll it makes it so much better and then um you know i got my own currency collection here 1934 i've shown this in a lot but i've got a lot of subscribers since i've updated my collection uh, just some $2 bills, silver certificates, uh, red seals, some more $2 bills, silver certificates, uh, you know, old $5 bills, uh, star notes, which we talk about a lot in my currency videos. So definitely check those out, show you guys what serial numbers to look for on your money. All right. So sorry again about the glare here. I'm going to try my best to avoid it. And then a uh, pretty nice $2 bill there, 1963. And then uh, this one's from Mexico. So we have some of those. Uh, let's get this stuff out of the way real quick. Uh, this is just the 1987 uncirculated set. Brian Hooper sent this as well. 1987. All right, so we got both the P and the D met marks. I think my mom got me this. Uh, it's just a John Cena sticker over a one dollar bill. She knows that I'm a wrestling fan. All right, and then random coins in here. I'll have to go through. I have no idea what this stuff is. Some are tokens, quarter that someone sent me. Not sure what that is. These are just silver coins. Uh, let's see. So we just got silver dime, silver half dollar. Some of these are in rough shape, might give away for a free giveaway. Now this is an error quarter, it is off center. You can really see it there on the reverse. And then we got another off center dime here. Pretty nice. That's just a buy penny, we talk about those on videos. The 1969 No FG on the back, we've talked about that. The leaky bucket, we've talked about that in the video. The homestead quarter. And then we got 2019 W quarters, W quarters. And these that I think no one claims, I'm going to have to give these away, I think, uh, in another giveaway. Morgan Dollars, maybe we'll do that for the member giveaway, baby. All right, I really have no idea what's in this. I guess foreign coins. I haven't uh, looked through this stuff in a while, so just a couple foreign coins, it looks like. Yeah, nothing really valuable or anything in there. This box, I have all kinds of stuff. <laughs> I got a watch in here, uh, coins that people sent me. Um, I never wear this watch, but I probably need to. It's pretty nice. I got it from my brother. Bought it from him. Here's uh, pennies. All right, so 1941 and 1974. Of course, I have all those. If I find any ones that are in better condition, I uh, try to replace them as much as I can. Uh, state quarters, nothing really fancy there. You guys know all about the state quarters from uh, 99 all the way up. But this book here that Brian Hooper sent me, this is where I have all my pennies pretty much. So I got the 1909 SVDB that's missing, the 1914 D, or no wait, I got the 22 D. Pretty rough condition, but it's graded by Annex at a very fine 20. I guess my camera's not wanting to focus today, guys. What in the world's going on with this thing? All right, guys, so there's the 22 D. Um, what else am I missing? The, oh, the 29 S is right here. It's coming out. I might have to get a new book for this. All right, I got it back in there. Of course, the 22 
Uh, D would go there. Uh, 31S, need that of course. And I think that's it. All I need that is, all else I need is probably the 2019 and the 2020. All right, so these are Canadian 10 cent coins. Of course, these ones are silver all the way up until 64 here. So those are pretty nice. Brian Hooper sent most of those. And then I try my best when I find silver coins, or not silver coins, Canadian coins, to fill these up. So I got a lot of work to do on my Canadian cents, 10 cents, and Canadian pennies, small cent, one cent coins. So some of these are pretty old, 1920, 29, 31. And then I'm missing 54, 85 with the pointed five, and then all those. Canadian five cents. Haven't really done much damage on this book, but I do got the 1927, 28, 29, 31, 41, 42, and 64. Just some more state quarters, state quarters. Uh, let's see, we got 25 cent coins, which Brian Hooper sent most of these as well. Uh, silver quarters over there. And then we got the clad quarters. Really happy about this book. It's coming along. Some more Canadian cents. Now this is from, what, 1989 to 2012. Uh, so, you know, I find Canadian pennies all the time. Just need to find some more and fill those up. I'd rather find them in circulation from the bank or something than actually buy them, you know. Just because it's that's what makes collecting fun. Now this book I have none. And this starts with 2013 Nichols. Canadian nickels from 65 to 2012. So, you know, these are just regular nickels to fill up. We got the Canadian 25 cents. We'll get back to U.S. coins here after this, this last book here. So I only got one in there, the 1993. <laughs> and then we got the 1990 to 19... What does it go? Well, it goes all the way up to 2013, and then you could put your own dates in on there after that all right so we got walking liberty here my favorite coin one of my favorite coins now this is 1916 to 1936 don't really have too many of these but the other book i do which i'm about to show you so i'm missing a lot of those most of these you know not in good condition some cleaned and stuff like that but i'm just trying to get all the dates some of the dates are going to be really tough to get but this book, I'm really, really happy about. I only have two coins to get, the 46D and 46S, and that book is finished. So I can't not wait to finish that one. That's that's a cool book right there to just sit and look at. All those Walking Liberty silver half-dollar coins. Then we got the Indian Head pennies. I really like Indian Head pennies as well. I've always liked them since I was a kid. Um, you know, I got you know a pretty fair amount over here. But I'm still missing a lot. You know, of course, the 1909S, only 309,000 made. Super rare coin. That's that for the Indian Head Pennies. State Quarters again, which I got all of these in a different book. But this one has 2009s. So, got the 2009s in that. So, that's complete. Of course, I got all the pennies, 1975 on up until, what, 2013 in this book. And then 14, 15, all the way up, I got in this black book here. Sacagawea dollars. I only got a couple in here. Not sure why I bought this thing. Um, I guess I just want to get all the dates, but it's not really, really anything special to me or anything, but I figured, hey, I'll fill it up eventually. Roosevelt Dimes starting in 2005, which will show you the other ones, uh, 2012 and prior here in another book. So we got to get the 18D still for some reason, or maybe I have that in another book. 1919, or 2019 and 2020, Liberty Head Nichols. This one's really cool, V Nichols. So this is really cool. So we have the 1883, which Brian Hooper sent me these. Uh, so we got without sense and with sense. So you see that it says sense on the one on the right, on the bottom, on the bottom of the left one it has the phrase e pluribus unum so the difference is pretty big in mintages 5.5 million compared to 16 million and then and then we got some more over here and more over here can't wait to fill that one up too that one will look pretty cool when it's finished these are nifc's so 2004 on up you know i can go to the bank get uh boxes of half dollars order them which i'm going to for the live streams 
and hopefully find some uh, NIFCs to fill that one up. All right, so these are just Washington quarters from 1968 to 1998. I'm sure you guys really don't care too much about these. Uh, I'm missing basically a lot of the proof coins, so I'm going to do my best to find those. Um, yeah, none of these are going to be silver, of course, so you guys probably don't really care too much about those. So let's move on to some silver, 1946 to 2012. So here's all my dimes. You know, i got to get a lot more of these. Missing the 55, of course. Um, missing 62 for whatever reason still. And then the proof coins, and that's the same throughout the book. Proof coins all the way up to 2012. There we go. Let me put you guys on a tripod and make this a lot easier. All right, so Jefferson Nichols. Uh, this is just 2007 on up. Missing a lot of the proof coins. Need the 2019, 2020. Been falling behind on those. Now, here's Jefferson Nichols from 1938 to 75. So I really like these because we got all the silver ones down here, uh, which I have complete. So I'm really happy about those. Uh, missing the 1939D, and you know, I pretty much got every single one except uh, the proof coins. So, there's the Jefferson Nichols. Again, Jefferson Nichols, 1976, missing the proof coins. This is 1976 to 2006. So, pretty much just missing the proof coins for those ones. Buffalo Nichols, some of my favorites. I absolutely love the Buffalo Nichols. Some of these dates have been, you know, um, Showing what nick -a date a lot of them have, unfortunately. But, you know, they are the right dates in the right places. So, I do like, you know, just filling up all the dates. That's my favorite thing to do as a collector. I know I don't really care too much about the condition. And as long as I can see the date and the mint mark and it's, you know, fairly and decent condition, then I'm okay with it, you know. The mint state ones are going to cost a lot of money. So, here is the Eisenhower dollars. These are really cool, man. Brian Hooper sent me some of these, like this proof. Man, that thing is just super nice. Look at that thing. Absolutely love it. So some of these, obviously, I still need. Cannot wait to fill this one up, too. It's going to be pretty cool, even though I'm not, like, a huge Eisenhower dollar fan. I just think this book will look awesome once it's all filled up. Now, the Mercury Dimes, also one of my favorite coins. Mercury Dimes, Walking Liberty Half Dollars, and Morgan Dollars. Uh, some of my favorites, so I cannot wait to fill this up. This is probably going to be one of my favorites to get complete. Of course, you know, some of these are really, really scarce and will cost a lot of money, even in bad condition, such as the 1916D, where they only made 264,000 of those coins. Uh, so finding one of those is not going to be easy, and you're going to pay a lot of money. But all the other common ones I would like to uh, get, of course, and fill up. So... It's a lot of silver there, man. I remember, you know, when I didn't have a collection this big, I always, you know, wanted to have a collection like this. But um, now I even want a bigger one. I want to fill them up more. It never ends. These are just the National Park quarters. I do need a lot of these, uh, which I can go to the bank, get a box of quarters, and fill a lot of these up. I just really haven't got around to it. So a lot of these that are missing be pretty easy to fill up. There's the 2020. Stops with 2021 here. So can't wait to get those. Uh, that's going to be fun to fill those up. Be simple. Go to the bank. Search through boxes of quarters. And fill them up. Now here is my silver quarters. Really love this book. Cannot wait to get these filled up either. I uh, just want to fill up everything. But uh, a lot of these, like this is a full page. 90% silver. Full page. Full page. Except for the 55D. I'm missing the 55D there up here. And then uh, all the way up to 1967. So in that book, I'm only missing, what, the 55D. And then we're missing... 38S, 37S, 36D, 32D, 32S. And on to my favorite. Well, we'll show the 88 to 2004 first, and then we'll show you the silver. So a lot of these, again, you know, a lot of proof coins missing. A lot of the business strikes, of course, I have. So nothing really special there. Got, you know, some NIFCs from 2000 and 2 on up. Now here are the silver. Now this is awesome. So here... Here's a good example of a proof coin versus a business strike coin. So you can tell the difference there. A lot of people, uh, you know, ask me all the time, 
What is a proof coin? What is a proof coin? I actually have a whole video on it explaining it. So there's a proof coin. There's a proof coin. There's a proof coin. Super shiny mirror like finished. Very detailed. Um, you know, I'm missing, uh, of course, the SMS coins, the 70D, and then, uh, you know, a lot of the proof coins here. So most of all those are proofs that I'm missing. And of course, there is a 1976 silver clad, so definitely keep in uh, mind, I have a whole video about this coin, 1976 bicentennial half dollar. Um, there's going to be a clad, uh, a clad proof, uh, a silver clad, and a silver clad proof, which I have the two silver, which is awesome. Absolutely love those. And then, uh, you know, we got a filled S and clear S. I've done a video on that, 1979 half dollar. So there's those and let's see what's in this thing these are just bitcoins they're not real or anything um so i got the 2019 uh united states mint proof set which i'm going to get the 2020 here that comes with that w nickel let's open this up and see these really nice coins love them love them love them love them and then we also have what came with this set the 2019 W penny, proof penny. Check that W out. Really awesome penny there. I don't think there's anything really in here that's, this is just a sample that PCGS sent me, 2018D. I don't know why that's in there, 1986. Sylvia sent me these, SJ's Mixed Adventures, a long time ago. These are just my rings. Class ring from high school, cross country, cross on the side, and then cross country and track. This is just the ring that I uh, won the Anthony Munoz. He played for the Bengals. He's in the NFL Hall of Fame. Won the scholarship for that. Straight A scholarship thing. We got these whole books here. We got these whole books. So these are all my foreign coins. Let's get closer. All right, so these are all my foreign coins. Uh, Canadian, got some Canadian silver in here. And then, um, you know, all different countries. You know, all kinds of different countries. Mexico, France, uh, Great Britain, Cayman Islands, Bahamas. Uh, what other coins do we got here? Yeah, Germany, all kinds of stuff. Brazil, Saudi Arabia. But this... Oh, Morgan Dollar fell out. But this here is where I keep most of my just random silver. So we got some stuff that Brian Hooper sent me. Some Morgan Dollars, Peace Dollars, gold. So that's a gram of gold. Uh, 1907-0 Barber Quarter, or Barber Half Dollar, excuse me. Blank Planchet. I've talked about Blank Planchets. 1922-D, there's another one. So I got two of those. That one's in better condition, probably. Now, if you find a 1922 no D, then you're talking some money. Now, uh, Coin Collecting Hobby sent me some of this stuff, some of that silver. Uh, really awesome, just silver coins here. This is a 2018S, Pictured Rocks. Now, this is a Magician's coin. It's not actually an error coin. It's got a Wheat Penny Reverse and a Mercury Dime Obverse. And then we got Silver Quarter, Barber Quarter, Standing Liberty, Silver Quarters, uh, some proof silver quarters, uh, Kennedy half dollar, and then just the regular stuff, you know, presidential dollars, Susan B. Anthony's, uh, large cents, those are pretty cool, I like those, large one cent coins, two cent coin, and then uh, some barber dimes, three cent nickel, the only three cent nickel I got, I believe, uh, some barber dimes, shield nickels, and then just some buffalo nickels, silver nickels, proof silver dime, Things like that. This right here is fake. Fake. Uh, got those from somebody. And then these pennies I keep in here because I don't have enough room in my other books. So just random tokens and stuff like that that I also keep in here. Same thing with this. Tokens. Uh, amusement park stuff. And then I do have some more currency. Uh, someone sent me those. So thank you for that. And then uh, just got some dollar bills. Some two dollar bills. One dollar bill, star notes, and just some other random currency. Ten dollar bill. And then, of course, we got these. 
So, I haven't added too much to my collection, I think, since I last did this video. I'm not really sure. Except for part one of this video. You guys got to go back and watch part one to see the collection uh, that I bought. It's absolutely amazing, man. All right, guys. Until tomorrow, and I will see you guys in the comment section below. This is Couch Collectibles, and this is where I disappear.